Hello guys and uh, magandang magandang tanghali po sa ating lahat. Today is uh, our first day of the week, May 17, 2021. And uh, as usual, nandito ulit tayo on this end of day market recap where pag-uusapan natin yung mga nangyayari sa market and at the same time, pag-uusapan din natin yung mga disclosures or any other news na tingin natin eh nakakapagpagalaw ng mga stock prices natin for today. So, ayan, magandang magandang tanghali. So, let me just try and wait for uh, siguro mga 30 more seconds and then we will be starting up. Ayan. So, ayun, uh, looking at the comment section, I can see Lori, magandang tanghali. Hello sa'yo. Kuya Jay, good, e- good evening tuloy. Good afternoon. <laughs> so, ayan, sige. Medyo matalinghaga or medyo mahiwaga itong market natin today. Ano? O lots nga lang. But anyways, sige. Uh, hello Alex, good afternoon. Lawrence, hello Jingo. Maurice, good afternoon. And uh, si Loner Fomo, di ko alam kung good or bad afternoon. Greet ko sa'yo sir, pero good afternoon pa rin. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's actually a... <laughs> Um, yeah, it is a good afternoon. <laughs> it is a good afternoon, di ba? So, ayan. Sige, uh, let's have a quick check na lang muna no, ng market natin para makapag-start tayo. So, right now, PSEI is down by about 48% once again, uh, minus 0.78%. No? And right now, value turnover is nasa 3.42 billion. So, at 6,228, medyo reddish na naman yung ating market. No? At the moment, we have about 79 advancers while 112 ang decline. Tapos 38 ang change. Yan. On the foreigners, ayun, we are seeing na again, net foreign sell na naman sila at currently nasa around um, 300 million. Yan. And then... Stat sheets. Let's have a quick check. Top gainer natin. Uy, si Meg. Wow. Meg is up right now at 6.15%. Hmm. Very interesting. Ano kayo meron dito? Ano? Followed by VVT. Kaso two trades lang yan. SGP, AB, BKR, and the rest. While on the worst losers naman, ayun na. Wow. MM. Nahulog. 3.97%. Nahulog na siya, no? Uh, minus 9%. Followed by dito at 8.22. Kanina nakikita ko to si dito, nasa 8.33 na siya. I thought mag-hold yung 8.3. Pero, unfortunately, hindi siya nangyari, no? At dere-derecho pa rin. Silipin nga natin itong dalawang to. I'm quite interested. Yan. So, ito. Si dito, kasi kanina, I was thinking, nasabi ko, Uh, how it will how it will work no kung halimbawang ma-break niya itong MA200 line so kung mapapansin natin dito na basag na nga itong isang support ko dito plus the fact na nandito na rin yung MA200 and ayun nakikita natin halos binabasag na rin niya oh 815 wow wait lang ha pinull out ba yung ano? Kasi may nakita akong haram na around 300,000 doon sa 820 eh. Kani-kani na lang. So mukhang binasag din 'yon. Next up ngayon is eto na. 810, 500,000 volume. Mababasag din kaya 'to? Ayun na. Ini inuunti-unti na siya. Oops, may nagtanggal ng A- ayun na, inuubos na ayun, naubos na nga din mukhang may fake bid doon sa 500,000 na volume kanina no? tapos tinanggal bigla interesting if uh, anong gagawin niya dito sa 8 pesos ba? Diba? yung 8 pesos na to ito yung very interesting na part eh. marami yung nakasalang 
yung isa yung pinag-uusapan na yun eh oh medyo inaalat na itong si uh, si Dito ngayon pag nabasag yung 8 then the next uh, logical support will be 7 pesos na which is etong pinanggalingan nitong ma- malakas na rally nung nakaraan ayan ah uh, silipin natin si MM ha si MM kasi basag na din yung support eh ngayon oh at 4:15 na basag na right now it's trading at around 14 so medyo masakit sa banks na itong si uh, si MM ngayon um uh, and confirm na rin yung downtrend niya. No? After mabasag itong MA200, tapos itong 450. Okay. Machakit, machakit ang nangyayari dito kay MM at saka kay, uh, kay dito, no? But anyways, sige. So, ayun. Uh, basically, that is currently what is happening sa market natin na medyo alanganin. No, pero may mga magagandang stories pa rin naman like for example yung kay kay Meg. Parang kanina hindi ko napansin si Meg ha. Biglang bulusok. 2.76 na siya eh. May sumi kala lima na rin pala tong kay Meg. Ayan, okay. Sige. So, balik muna ako sa comment section. Bati lang muna tayo kahit konti. Saan na ba ako? Mm, hello, Tessie. Good afternoon. Uh, merong disclosure si VUL. Yep, oo. Nakita ko yung kanina. Si VUL kasi, uh, nung nakaraan, well, nag- nag-disclose na rin naman siya na plano na niyang umalis sa mining. No? And I think, uh, puro MOUs yung mangyayari sa kanya in the next few few months um, hanggang sa makalabas na siya totally although plano pa lang yan no? uh, a lot of things can happen that on there Let, let's try to check VUA later ha hmm. o oh, ito si uh, si Alvin kumanta na lang <laughs> parang nahihirapan na rin sa, sa market natin eh, no? <laughs> I get that and Hello Neil, good, good afternoon. Uh, Yumir, magandang tanghali. Kahit bleeding, totoo yan. <laughs> AJ, hello Angelo. Uh, Timothy, oo nga eh, hulog yung mga hype favorites, no? Like for example, si Dito, si MM. Although si Asen, ha, medyo lumalaban ng konti. No, lumalaban ng konti si Asen. Mon, uh, sur- sure ba na out si P-Gold and Meg's index? Nope. It's too early to tell, no? Uh, for the index. Kasi usually, ang review ng index is 1 to 6 months. So, that will be January hanggang June. No? So, hindi pa tapos yung May. Tapos may June pa tayo. Although the numbers are not looking good on some of the stocks, pero I, st- I still think that uh, there are still a lot of things uh, na pwedeng mangyari, no? Na mag-turn around nung, nung market. So, Mon, hindi pa. I don't think it, uh, they are out finally. Or they are, fin- uh, they are finally out of the index. I don't think so. Hello, Jason. Good afternoon. Elizalde, magandang tanghali sa'yo. Justin... Rowena, Connie, uh, si Jerome, lahat ng stock ni uh, Dennis. Uy, pula lahat. Oh. So, dito, na alam natin, uy. Okay. Medyo nagkakaroon ng konting rebound, ha? Pero sige. Chelsea. down then, um, ano ba? Phoenix. Ayan, Phoenix is, ano, up pa rin. Sa ngayon, no? Yun lang yung ano. Mm, kailan tayo sa sa dito? Hindi ko po alam. Hindi ako sumasalo kay dito eh. <laughs> uh, Airglow, good afternoon. Nags, magandang tanghali. Si BPI gap down? Ano meron kay BPI? Hindi naman. Well, may pagka-gap no. Pero not that big.
Sabi ni Mark, may press release si MM. Sige nga, uh, ganito. Let's have a quick check muna ng ating mga disclosures ngayon. Tingnan natin kung ano yung mga kung ano yung mga nangyayari. No? So, let's take for example, refresh ko lang nga kasi baka may mga biglaan. O, oh, katulad yan. So, ayan. Sabi nga ni Mark, no? uh, we have a press release dito from MM. Ano tong kay MM? Ah, highlights. Okay. For 2020, ang asset nila is lumaki. 280%. Okay. Equity nila lumaki rin. Wow, ang laki. 2020, no? Ah, okay kasi dahil dito na rin pumasok yung, ano, yung IPO. So, yeah, da- lalaki talaga yung equity nun. Tapos, revenues plus 38%. Okay. Uh, they reached 25 uh, branches end of 2020. Aims to have total of 100 by end of 2021. Mostly from its smallest format na Mary Mart Store. 3-in-1 household essentials. Mm, okay. So, last year, 25 uh, branches. While this year, ang kanilang target is total of 25 branches by end of 2021. So, basically, total, di ba? So, that means 25 last year, so 75 this year. Yun yung plan nila mangyari. For Q1, medyo okay naman. <coughs> Consolidated revenue is up 15%. Nice. Okay. So, this is a good, ano, this is a good, um, these are good numbers, no, uh, for, uh, for Mary Mart. However, we still have to consider, ha, though despite na maganda yung numbers ng, ng isang stock, we have to think about what is happening dun sa company. No? Kasi, if we, if we will try to to take into consideration yung yung fact na they are really on the expansion mode or expansion phase then we should be expecting this no especially on the asset sides talagang lalaki yan kasi nga expanding eh di ba um, equity is yeah well depende naman sa kung saan nila pag kung saan nila kukunin yung yung capital no on those expansions pero yeah this is ano This is quite big, pero not bad at all. So, yeah. Uh, for me, is this a good thing or a bad thing for Mary Mart? Um, on the short term, not a good one for me. Pero on the long term, it's a good one. No? And, ayun nga, uh, when we try to to check yung how the market reacted to that news, actually, yeah, halos kakaano lang, di ba? Uh kaka-release lang ng news. Pero yeah, at least in the past couple of days or ka- past two trading days, kita natin, nahulog na lang gusto itong si, uh, si, si Metro Mart. Metro Mart tuloy, Mary Mart. Ayan. Okay, so that's for Mary Mart. Next up is... Uy, ah, ito, si Meg din. Meron din, no? Baka ito na mag... mag uh... Oh, okay. So, core revenues up 10%. Quarter on quarter Q1. Well, this is good. No, this is a good news, naman for uh, for Mega World. Because unlike a Mary Mart, si Mary Mart again is expansion. Well, eto si Mega World, although this is ex- also expanding, pero kumbaga more on the um, stabilized phase na si kasi itong si uh, si Mega, di ba? And uh, 10% on core revenue is a big deal. Because when we say about uh, core eto yung mga business excuse me eto yung mga businesses nila na na dito talaga sila kumukuha ng 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 revenue no kasi pag uh, let's try to identify ha kasi we say revenue basically eto yung lahat ng revenue na nakokolekt nila on a certain period okay now if sinama mo yung core revenue then ibig sabihin eto yung pinaka core business nila this is the This is for me, ah, this is the entire value of the company, yung core business nila, no? Kasi they can have let's say for example, kunwari lang ah, trip nilang mag uh, mag pumasok ng ng gaming. 'Di ba? Then yung gaming na yun is not part of the core revenue. But yung core nila is of course offices and uh, mga properties. 
So this this is really good. And I think this is one of the reason why anong oras ito nilabas? 12:30. Now let's have a quick check. Anong oras lumipad si Meg? O kanina pa yung lumilipad. Ah, okay. So mukhang mula kanina eh. Uh, opening pa lang. Nag 270 na agad siya. First 5 minutes nag uh, 270 hanggang sa nag 277 na. So nice, nice. Uh, this is a good thing for ano, uh, for Meg. Okay. And then um hindi ko naman naisaysayin lahat ah, uh, pero uh, what I'd like to to show you is etong yung etong kai May annual report na rin si dito. Sige, silipin nga natin to. Hindi man lang nila binigyan ng ano. But anyways, we can check naman that. So this is as of December 31, 2020. Hmm. Bakit hindi ba din provide yung gross revenue? Although meron silang net income after loss, which is good, ha? Kasi if we check here, ibig sabihin na ito, uh, December of, 20, of 2019, they are at a loss of about 34, is this by millions or billions? Parang million, eh. Pero on December 2020, they are up 71 71,650 So this is good no? This is good news for for dito Yun nga lang for some reason Wala eh Talagang perigal na ron si dito eh No Okay And then yun, Na Na uh, Out Na ano ko Nasa sidetrack ako Nung ibang <laughs> Nakikita natin na medyo Magandang news no But anyways eto VOL. So ito yung tinatanong kanina, no? Uh, kung ano ba yung nangyari, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Ito yung sinasabi ko. So for Vulcan uh, Industrial Mining and Corporation, so they had entered an MOU with uh sana yan, with the HGP Group, no? Through their subsidiary CECMRC. Okay. And then ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, no? Na VOL is reconsidering kasi its previous decision to exit the mining industry and to instead capitalize thereon. So before nagkaroon sila ng ng uh, initiative na uh, umalis or lumabas ng mining. No? Pero ngayon mukhang they are trying to reconsider that uh, that that plan and instead baka makapagkap magcapitalize sila doon sa part na yon although hindi naman majority pero ayun and that's also the reason why they are doing this MOU. Okay? Now, uh, because of this MOU, syempre magkakaroon ng due, di- due diligence dyan uh, for about 45 days, which is common. No? Common itong part na to. Um, so yeah, uh, is this a good news or bad news for VUL? Uh, for me, it's a good news. No? Kasi being partners with another firm, that means uh, more people are now invested towards uh, making that part of the of the operation successful. Diba? So, that's a good news. Now, let's have a quick check kung ano nangyari kay VUL for today. Is it flat? Almost flat. No? Although, kanina, kung makapansin natin, yung long week na ito kanina, mukhang nag-gap up siya. Ah, sorry. Nag, uh, binili siya ng gusto. No? But then, as we moved at the latter part of the day, medyo, ayun na, nag, uh, nag-slide down na siya ng konti. Pero yeah, definitely that part is a good uh, news for VUL. Now, medyo humaba na naman tayo. Let's go back to our market so far. Why? Wow, what happened? <laughs> Ang weird talaga ng market natin. Okay, so <laughs> our market, as of right now, sige, uh, end of the market recap tayo. So market is now up 14%, 14 points uh, plus 0.2%. So right now it's 6283. No? Yung mga advancer so biglang nag uh, nagsitalunan. 
Although mas marami pa rin yung decliners pero still, no. Uh, this, is, this is a good one. On the net foreign Yeah, we are still not foreign sell today. Uh, 2.45 billion in total or about uh, 200 to 2 to 300 million. And uh Stachi, Tetsi, wow, Axilum. Biglang nagano no. Si Meg bumaba na siya at 4.62. And then others <coughs> So Pigold. Primex nakita ko na kanina, MPI. Wow, okay. Very interesting. On the worst losers. Yikes, yun lang. Ayun, so si uh, Dito is closing at 810. Value turnover and lapad, no? Almost 400 million. Followed by MM na almost 8% down, 403. 95 million. And then Geo Mab and then the rest. Okay, so talagang lagapak itong dalawang to, no? Si Dito at si MM. I remember, silang dalawa yung madalas na pinagkukumpara nung mga nakaraang, ano, di ba? But, yeah. Lagapakan silang dalawa. Silipin nga natin very quickly kung ano nangyari. Uh, dito, 810. Ayan. Medyo lumalobo na yung, ano, ah, yung volume niya on the bid side. Tingnan natin kung mag-materialize ito. While si MM naman, ayan, nasa bid side na rin yung, ano, yung mga buyers. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, sige, let me go back sa comment section. 12.55 na tayo. Hindi ko na makita kung nasaan ako nag, uh, <laughs> nag-end kanina. Pero sige, uh, pick up na lang tayo somewhere here. Uh, green, o nga no, ano nangyari kay Green? Red siya nung nakaraan, di ba? Nung Friday. Yan, up na naman siya. Mukhang may laman pa tong si Green kasi... May bid pa siya. Yun nga lang. Nine. Nine lang to. Okay. Pero yeah, kasi if we try to look at green, mukhang magtutuloy-tuloy pa siya, oh. Ito yung take profit candle na napag-usapan natin nung, nung Friday. No? So ngayon, uh, giving us another green candle. So let's see you know, what will happen on the, on the next succeeding days. Hello, Brian. Mon, yes, meron po tayo mamaya. Uh, Charles, true. At pati yung crypto, no? Kasalanan to ni Elon, eh. <laughs> Pinaglaruan niya yung, ano, yung... Uh, ito, Bitcoin. Na paglaruan. Hello, Lance. Good afternoon. Dennis, Tafan from Pampanga. Hello sa'yo. Magandang tanghali. JP, Cheryl... Uh, Palmer, wala ba tayong expected katala sa PSE? Well, ang nakikita kong wala pang upcoming, no? Uh, pero merong, well, yung MECQ na na-start na tayo today. I think, I know, nung, nung Saturday. I think that's one. Pero vaccine talaga yung inihintay natin na ano eh. Na, na magiging tingko catalyst pa para sa index natin. Long-term investors yung blue chip ngayon. Yep. I agree with that. Sige. Baba mo na ako sa pinakababa. Ah. Uh, let me check. Uh, Gary, anong nangyari? Ayan, I think na pag usapan natin si uh, MM kanina. O nga David eh, biglang green na naman yung market natin. Well, that's, that's good no, kahit pa paano. Pero parang ang, ang sakit sa puso nung ganun no, yung tipong pababa, mababa yung market, yung index mo, tapos biglang at the last minute, uh, last 10 minutes run off, saka, saka lang siya lilipad. Although on the technical standpoint ha, <coughs> excuse me, teka, inom lang muna ako. Okay. On the technical standpoint kasi, 
yung mga ganong klase ng movement, uh, those are good, ano, those are good signs. No? Why? Kasi kapag nagaganon yung market, ibig sabihin, the, the investors and traders are seeing na masyado ng mababa yung presyo nung, nung asset base. No? And because of that, interested na silang bumili for a um, uh, for a bounce play no i'm not saying na bounce play yan magkakaroon tayo agad ng bounce eh, hindi yun yung point ko but i'm trying to explain kung bakit good news yung mga ganong tipong uh, at the last minute biglang biglang magkakaroon ng surge okay now yung usual effect ng mga ganon is that uh, more people will be invited or will be interested to see kung ano nangyayari kung bakit mayroong mga ganong surge and alam mo yun, parang magkakaroon ng mentality na ay teka baka baka ripe na ito for uh, for a bounce no yun yung effect okay so ayan that's just to that's just to explain no kung anong ibig sabihin ng mga ganong klase ng spikes and now again chart wise kung papansin natin dito etong 62 then or 6,200. No? Mukhang nandoon nga yung support kasi mapapansin natin dito in the past 3 days, yun yung tinatry niyang i-retest. Pero, kaya pa rin niyang i-hold. So, I am hoping, no? I am hoping na, na this 6,200 level eh, magtuloy-tuloy as a, uh, as, a good su- <coughs> as a good support for PSE. Yan. So, let's hope, no? Let's hope and see. Um, ano pa ba? Sige. Mag, uh, sasagot na lang muna ako sa mga ibang mga question. Again, guys, ha, wala, hindi po ito stock, stock review. <laughs> uh, magkakaroon po tayo niyan mamaya. Okay? Uh, mamayang gabi tayo doon. Uh, may mga specific questions ba dito? Uh, Hermie, yes. Nakita ko yung sa cash dividend ni DDMPR. However, ang liit niya. No, ang liit nung ito. Silipin ko nga uh, 0. 0.2.020 something eh. 'Di ba? Uh, previously magkano yung binigay niyang dividend? Mm. Ito. Magkano to nung nakaraan? 0. 0.02 din. So mukhang nandoon lang din yung binibigay niya, no? We'll see. Yeah. Uh, not really happy about the turnout ng dividend kasi parang ang liit lang niya. No. But uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> si Gary nasa watchlist daw niya yung Axilum. Nag-sideway siya sa mga last scandal niya bago lumipad ngayon. Hmm. Okay, so nga, no? I think na nakita natin itong si, uh, si Axilob dati. Okay, so. Steady, breakout talaga siya, oh. Sino mo nang bilhin na ito kay Axilob? Si Regis. May namili dito from the foreign, no? Timing sales nga. Ano pa? Nagkaroon ba ng black sale to? Cross sale or kung ano man? Nasaan si Regis dito? Um, okay. Si Abacos may 260,000. Ah, may, yeah. 260,000 value 91 Ito dito siya namili oh Pero meron pa sa baba Meron din yo oh. 87,000 ito yung ito yung foreign Tapos kanina rin Interesting interesting Ayan. Tapos, ah, nga pala, ano, si CLI, ano nangyari doon sa lokong stock na to? <laughs> Loka talaga, na. 
So, CRI is up ng 3.57%. Pero, parang, teka ha. Wala. Grabe naman sa week itong CLI na to. Ito yung ano, no? Uh, talagang malaking tag of war. So, ibig sabihin yung... Ayan, para mas... Hopefully, mas kita ninyo siya. Ayan. Yung week na to na nasa taas... Plus, yung week na to na nasa baba. O, diba? Ang saya. Pagaganto, madalas ang nakikita ko dyan is medyo confused yung market, no? Undecided sila whether the stock should go up or down. Yeah. But anyways, ayan. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, guys, hanggang dito lang po muna, no? Kasi again, uh, we are just talking about what's happening sa market during the end of day. And uh, mamaya, magkakaroon naman tayo ng stock when 200, which is mas mahabang oras yung mga malalagay natin doon. Okay, so I hope to see you there. And of course, uh, reminder, yung pinos ko kagabi, uh, no, kahapon related sa ating uh, masterclass. So, nandun doon na nakalagay yung, yung eligibility requirements and tentative schedule natin. So, please take note of that no? uh, para uh, doon sa mga interested, eh, maka-join in kayo. Ayan. Okay, so again guys, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay ngayong oras na to. Mamaya, kita kids. Okay, 8pm, stock silog tayo. As, uh, stock went one tayo. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great day ahead. Bye.